Grants of between 250 and 4,000 euro are being made available to householders under a new 100 million euro government plan to improve insulation in Irish homes. The scheme, which it's hoped will provide 4,000 jobs, is aimed at cutting heating bills, reducing carbon emissions and providing jobs in the construction sector. Under the plan, a 250 euro grant will be available for attic insulation. 400 to 4,000 will be available for wall insulation. A heating control upgrade will receive 500 euro. When it's installed with a high efficiency boiler, 700 euro will be granted. And 200 euro is available to get a building energy rating. This 1950s house needs a total refit because there was little requirement for insulation back then. The walls and attic will be insulated, a high efficiency boiler installed, along with a high tech thermostat which allows heating of each room to be regulated. They'll, they'll notice this, their savings on, on, their, on their energy bills, both gas and electricity. Um, immediately the work is done and on this house we're expecting a 67% saving. This is the type of work and result which the government wants to replicate across the country with a 100 million euro investment. The government stepping in helping householders cut back on their, weight, on their energy use, uh, put in proper insulation, that will create jobs, it will cut back fuel bills and it will keep our economy going through, through difficult times. While warmer homes which emit less carbon dioxide will be welcomed, the star turn in this package is creating 4,000 jobs at a time of significant layoffs. The green tech sector is coming to the fore. These are small Irish companies and they're Irish contractors and we can actually mobilise our, our, our workforce back in taking this on. Rather than criticise, the opposition has welcomed the Minister's announcement but suggested it could have come earlier and even been more ambitious. Frankly, for all the talk, the actual record is not good in terms of what the government has delivered in, in these new jobs. So we have to keep the pressure on the government. With hundreds of thousands of homes requiring an insulation upgrade, this is a growth industry. Paul Cunningham, RT News, Dublin.